Welcome back guys to another race and it's round number four here today of our F1 manager 23 return to glory career mode with McLaren. Last time out we had some chassis upgrades and some shenanigans in qualifying to get a Q2 for the very first time in the season with the homeboy Piastri at his uh, uh, home race at the Australian Grand Prix. Unfortunately if you did watch that episode didn't exactly turn into much. This car is still an absolute chopper trolley on uh, on F1 Prellies and uh, we have still some work to do but also at the same time taking some feedback from the comments of how I could be doing certain things better when it comes to the race maybe I'm um, maybe being too cautious on the ERS deployment at the start of races kind of overcompensating if you will for last year's game where consistently I was overusing it too early on on this year's game it seems like I'm not using it enough and I'm relying far too much on the battle assist which isn't a, a absolute absolute, you know, all ho uh, holy grail in terms of uh, the best way to do things. So I'm going to focus a little bit more on maybe using the battery and micromanaging lap to lap. Um, but first and foremost, we've got to see where we are in terms of uh, car development. So research we've got a load of things being researched right now we've got chassis front wing rear wing suspension so four things on the on the boil which is very very good manufacturing we've got the underfloor which is going to take uh five days to get one part we've got a grand prix in 25 days so we should have new underfloors for both the cars and in terms of what we do have already obviously we have the chassis from last time but we made some side pods as well and yes for the first time now we can install them on each car so into Baku new under uh, new chassis which we had we which we only had uh we, which we had one one set for new side pods and new underfloor into Baku so three big updates on the car for Azerbaijan hopefully it's a good one and also Azerbaijan is a sprint round so it might be our first time playing a sprint weekend yeah sprint weekend in F1 Manager 23 because they do have them in this year's game we've got a reply from that engineer driver tension with uh, Lando Norris and uh, William Joseph and uh, things have improved so our intervention has clearly helped the situation so uh, we're being thanked for, for, for getting involved by the personnel officer so Lando's morale is up his aggression has stayed uh, the same or actually decreased I think that is and William's Joseph uh, and Lando Norris's affinity is up that is great arranged meeting what what else is there to do a meeting for email response um yes can yeah Okay, let's confirm the meeting. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, if we do the meeting, then we're going to get... Um then we're going to get these attributes. Awesome, right? There we go. Side pod manufactured. We've got a board confidence check-in. We have medium confidence as in your leadership as team principal. Now, we've only done three races. I think it's a little bit early to be assessing how confident you are in my job, to be honest, board. But, you know, do what you want to do. And then we've got uh, driver development. Uh, Lando went up by one overall uh, with one overtaking also. And Piastri break breaking, overtaking, defending, all improved which is exactly the attributes I want him to improve on. Um, so that's looking good. We've not really shown too much love to uh, Alex Palo, but um, I don't envision just using him that much because Piastri is already highly higher rated than him. And like I said before, this is one of the youngest driver lineups in uh, on the grid. So, you know, this is going to be for a, for a long term unless we really s see a great opportunity to maybe sign a big name later on in the, in the career series. But right now, I'm good with where we are, and we've got a new training schedule to do. So, what are we looking at in terms of uh, what could we do, be doing better? Chance of mistake is uh, actually no. Show attributes. Chance of mistake percentage. Why? Right, what's pretty high? Tighten tires. Use tires. So again, still really is um, is the uh, the the what was it the. Um, um, what's it called? The tightening of the tires? Wheel gun, wheel gun. There we go, wheel gun. So that's going to be loosen tires, use tires off. Balance preset. I think fatigue-wise, they are tired right now, but they've got plenty of rest in. Let's go for... Um... Car building, fatigue reduction. Let's go for fatigue reduction. Let's make sure they're well rested into the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Going to confirm that for the training schedule up into the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Decent. Um, I don't think there's much else to do then because we're kind of basically in this no man's land of waiting for car research to be done and waiting for this underfloor to be made. So we're just going to sit tight then and then get that underfloor on the car. 
and be ready for Baku. But before we get to that, we've got a regulation change vote. Minor technical regulation change um, for the 2024 season. This will be a specific change for how the cars generate downforce with the aim of maintaining greater speeds while cornering. So high speed downforce changes, low speed. So they're wanting to reduce the downforce, it seems, because um, everything's in the negative. So uh, this is pretty much... Oh, okay, so no, we can go for high or low. So high, so do we want high or do we want low speed? So we're kind of weak in all areas, to be honest. If we go back to the car analysis compared to like, let's say, uh, you know, Alpine, for example, um, in terms of rank on the grid, we are pretty low on everything. We're lower than uh, we're lower on low speed than high speed, and that's kind of true to real life. McLaren in real life are much better at high speed than low speed. So I'm going to say let's have some low speed downforce changes because that might affect. You know, we might be able to navigate that better. Maybe. Um, yeah, let's go for that. Let's vote for a low speed downforce change. That might be a, a good way to, to level the playing field a bit more in that department for us. And now we've got a dilemma of a sponsor's VIP experience. Been considering ways to encourage sponsor support by bringing them uh, a special VIP experience at the upcoming Azerbaijan GP. Uh, large sponsor target, uh, sponsor target payouts for this race weekend. However, there's some risks. So... We can accept a payout increase of times three for successful sponsor guarantee. And then there's a penalty increase times two for unmet ones. So that's the targets we set ourselves. I'm going to approve. Let's let's go for it. I mean, we don't really even set ourselves that many targets, to be honest. So I think we could maybe meet the ones we do put out, basically. Uh, and we've got the regulation vote. And it's been in favor, majority, for the below option. And it's going to be low speed downforce changes. Um, most people voted for, for that versus the high speed one. So... Um, those are going to change. I don't know. I don't know what it means if most people are in favor of that. Maybe that was the wrong way to go. I don't know. But majority voted for that. So it wouldn't really change too much. So good stuff there. And we've now got our scouting completed of Simeone Resta, which is the Haas technical chief. Uh, his contract, he's on ooh, one, nearly 1.5 million a year. Jeez. Okay. He's got two years on his contract. Guy we're scouting, Tariq. He was 79. So you get three more overall for 400k relative to the, the rest of the grid. I think that's actually pretty cost effective, to be honest. So I still have my eyes on maybe nicking him away from Haas, making them weaker, making us stronger. But he's got two years on his contract. So I don't really fancy buying him out at this stage, maybe. I mean, we do have 17 million. How much would it actually cost to get him? If we did it at the... If we did it next season. So there's no buyout involved if we do next season. So it's literally just hiring him, basically. Uh, a salary. We can match his salary. We can probably even bump that up to... I'm willing to pay him 1.6. 1. 1. 1.6. And then signing bonus of... Uh, he got... Uh, we're going to give him a 200k one. Because he got 149 for Haas. Um, and there is no buyout. Let's see. Let's let, let, let's see if he's going to go for this because I would. This is this is not too bad. This would be the first time I'm using this mechanic of signing a staff member for the next season, not having to immediately pay out loads to break contracts, etc. So let's see how it goes. Offer him this contract. What's he going to say? Response received. Please. Oh, okay. He's good with the signing bonus, but he wants he wants a slightly higher contract. That's fine. I'm going to lower this then. So like 180, and I'm going to bump this up to 1.7. I'm happy with that. That's as high I want to go, to be honest, because then it, then that's like 600k for three overall on the technical chief. Let's go for it. Offer it. 1.7. 1.7. I think this guy's going to be better than Tariq. Ah, oh, he's declined. Are you serious? You want more money? You want no? You're only on 1.49. Honestly, the staff in this game are freaking greedy. You want you want that much of a pay rise. Okay. That. 1.8. 1, 1. Take it or leave it. Okay? This is it. 8.5. 8, 5. That's it. That's it. Take it or leave it. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
You! Okay, no. I've had enough. No, I've had enough. All these staff are absolute mugs. You lot want way too much. Way too big for your boots, you lot. Oh-ho, race engineer. Tom Stallard is up to 81. That's great. And the underfloor is ready. And the design of the new front wing is done. So that means we can actually go ahead and start to manufacture that front wing. We're also making some spares of the chassis and the side pods. Uh, but front wings, let's make four of those. Uh, and that will get done very much. Oh, no. Oh, okay. We're going to do two. And that's all I can do. I can rush one. Rushing two won't even get it done in time. Right, so we're going to have one new front wing for one person. Honestly, might give it to Piastri after his qualifying performance. But at the same time, Lando is the higher rated driver. And in real life, probably they'd give priority to Lando. So there's also that. Right, new underfloor getting installed. Front wing, new front wing onto Norris, which is car two, I believe. I think I think he's car two. Yeah, car two. Um, and the rest of it's all fine, I think, because we've got chassis both installed on we just don't have any spares side pods installed and we've got that new chassis so we can start manufacturing that oh we already made some spares let's cancel available refund yes okay cancel that because we've got the new chassis to make and that's the one we're gonna need maybe a spare of i'll make one spare only uh 10 days yeah that's fine just like yeah okay cool let's go confirm Side pods are coming in in one day. That's just a spare, basically, but that's fine. Right, review targets. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, this is the the sponsor. They, wanna, they want us to re uh, reach Q2. Okay. Uh, hopefully, we can do that. Finish the race at least in 14th with both drivers. Okay, that's annoying. Um, and then the finish five races with at least one driver ahead of the 15th place. We've got two in a row right now. We could get to three. Okay, that's cool. If we edit that, do we... Um, can I edit this to... Right, let's go 50... Yeah, one driver at least in 15th place. Add on to that because that'll multiply, won't it? Multiply our, our thing. I think these are in blue because of the performance target set by the sponsor to motivate us. Okay, that's fair. Okay, cool. Reach Q2, 15th place at least. 14th in the race with both drivers. That's, that's a big ask. That's our motivation though. That's the We now have a tangible goal on this race in, from our sponsor. We need to try and get both drivers above P14. Oh, we only had one practice session in this. Oh my God. We've only got one practice session. Their confidence level's 43 and 39%. Oh, bloody hell. Are we going straight into... We're in quali, aren't we? Yeah, we're in qualifying. Oh, my God. We're in quali. We're in quali. Oh, no. We're straight into quali. Are you mad? Right, we've got to do a setup. We've got to change our setup then. Here now. Um. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that back into the region where... It's blue and hope for the best. That's going to be his setup. Untested. Same for Lando. And that's going to be the one for Lando, I think. If we just adjust it a bit more. Can we get it? Uh, okay. Okay. We're going with that. We're going with that. In the blue. Cool. Okay. Confidence at an all-time low, lads. But we need to make Q2. One of you needs to make Q2. All right. Q1. Let's just wait a little bit for track temps to go up. I'm going to do two flying laps because I think I... Unless I'm mistaken, I think I read something sort of somewhere. One of you guys commented about doing two runs in a row. And maybe that was a way to go. So I just want to test out at the start. And then let's see. If not, then we'll just go back to the one run. Maybe manually again, making sure they have battery. Or I think someone else also said manual control and really attack on the outlap to get the tire temps up in an in a optimum window from the get-go, which I was trying to do last time. But it, uh, we could have done it a bit better, a bit, bit earlier maybe on, on aggression. But... We're going out at the moment just for the two flyers with the computer controlling it. Oscar out first. Lando out second. Right, Oscar begins his lap. Lando following suit at some point later on. I think uh, he's down the straight. He's got a bit of a toe maybe from the Haas. Piastri's got a lot of clean air ahead of him. That's good. Lando does not. But that Haas, I think, is on a lap. Maybe. If not, he's going to get out of the way. Okay, he's going to get out of the way quite quite well actually so no oh, oh okay maybe a bit slow i don't know let's see let's see oh traffic for oscar as well the mercedes gas to get out of the way come on mate come on what is this gonna be for piastri 
If it's not going to be this first lap, we need the second lap to be decent. We need to be being Bottas and Sonoda there. Their lap time's 2.3 off, though. Quite, quite a ways off the Ferrari, really. As Piastri crosses the line, that's what we want. Ahead of Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Bottas, all these people that we could be knocking out in Q1. That is, that is what we want to see, Oscar. And Lando across the line. Ah, oh, what is going on here? You know what? You know what? Even though he's way more high, high, highly rated at the moment in his career, you know, I'm getting a vibe that Piastri is, is our man to focus on. Lando, I don't know. We just mismanaged him a little bit. His confidence isn't there with his setup. I don't know. But, um, okay. Two flyers, though. Two flyers. So they're, they're still going. They're still going around, I think. Or it should be. Because I said uh, they're on an outlap, apparently. But I said, okay, they're going to do outlap and then go, uh, like go, go again, I guess. Green first sector. Oh, green second sector. It's looking good. What's Lando saying? Green first sector as well. The two flying laps for the dream. Maybe this is the strategy. We're pulling along one of the Red Bull cars. I think it's Perez who's yet to set a lap time. Piastri to the line. He's P10 right now. What is it going to be? An improvement, I hope. Two seconds off the pace. And now it is, oh, three tenths improvement. Let's go, man. That's more like it. Lando, two greens. We need to see some improvement here from him. And it's a big one. Okay, I think we found I think we found the the, 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 the the method guys. I think we found the method. Two flying laps in quali is the way to go. Alright, we've got five minutes left. I think we're gonna I think we're good. I think we're good, maybe. I think maybe Piastri may need to go out again. He may be under some pressure, but two minutes. Do we send him out? We've got time, maybe. I've got we've got enough time with him to send him out, just in case. Do we do it or do we just risk it? I think risk it. 1.3 tenths. A lot of people are going to have to gain three tenths to knock him out. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Please. Please. No one. No one go quicker. No one. Don't you dare. No one. No one goes quicker. Okay. Yes. Both into Q2. This is what you like to see. Come on. That 15th place goal for the sponsor. No problem. We might even be on for our first ever Q3 of the season. Oh, the car setup spa. <laughs> they did that with a car setup of 40 and 49. Oh my god. At least we can adjust that a little bit. The front wing angle, maybe that will be better for them. I don't know. Let's adjust that. Uh, oh god. Um. Okay, that might be okay. I don't know if that's going to be better or worse really for him, but let's see. Um. And then two flying laps again. Soft compound. Yeah, cool. Let's go. Right, we sent them both out. They're kind of uh, paired together with an Alpine and uh, Red Bull in Piastri's case. They're on the flying lap at the moment. Let's see what the first one is going to be for Oscar. He's got the Red Bull right up his ass. Uh, maybe blocking him a little bit, to be honest, as Verstappen pulls out for an overtake. If he does overtake, it won't be too bad because we're now going to be on the cooldown lap to get ready for the for the next one. All right, Lando's done his. He's got... That's not very good. What's happened there? Oh, also, why... Wait, hang on. Oh, do I have to reconfigure? Oh, I thought two flying laps was already reconfigured. Okay, come in. We're going to reconfigure that again now. There's going to be two laps at the end then. Oh, dear. Okay, that wasn't ideal. I don't know why... I have to... Even though I did it on the screen before, I have to reconfigure it properly here. Run plan... All right, they're both out in clean air now. And I'm hoping they're going to do two flying laps this time. All right, both going green, which is good. That's a good sign. Piastri running to the line. What are we saying? 2.5, improving to 2.4. One-tenth improvement. And he is now actually winding up for that second lap, which is good. Lando needed a much bigger improvement. He was 3.8 off P1 right now. He's going to go up to... Oh! 1.4 what an improvement there my god that front wing working well for Lander remember he's the only one with that new front wing they've both got the new chassis floor and side pod but Lando's the only one with that new front wing it's not been so great on this uh, second flyer on this stint for both drivers both of them yellow so uh, maybe in Q2, it wasn't exactly the vibe to do two flying laps. And Piastri gets held up by the Red Bull. Oh, my God. What are you doing, mate? So, Piastri's going to be out. P14, though, still better than our 15th place position for sponsor target. And Lando, 
Um, green last sector, but two yellows in the first. Doesn't improve overall, but he's up in P9 right now. But Ocon, you know, people are still on their lap, so he might get knocked out still. If he does, I, I won't be too disappointed because that's still a big improvement. Both cars into Q2, both at least above P15, which is going to be great. I hope if it finishes like this, let's see. Right, Ocon didn't go quicker. Albon's not going to go quicker, surely. Okay. Oh, my word. Come on. The improvements are there. I'm sorry to Oscar. Sorry. P14. Why did I ever doubt Lando, though? Like I was in Q1 there. P9, our first Q3 of the entire season. Come on. All right, sending out Lando now. Two flying laps again. I think there might be enough time to come in and then just do one at the end though as well. Not a lot of traffic either here in the top 10 shootout. We've got good space. There's an Aston Martin behind us, but no one ahead of us as we go through this castle section. Looking very dramatic and cinematic with the visor cam. What's it going to be? Stroll 143.8. For us, it is... Ooh, 1.3 off Stroll. Okay, improvements needed. Improvements needed. Let's hope the second lap's better. Okay, green first sector. Green second sector. That's what we want. That's what we want. Let's speed this up. Get to the end of the lap. There might be enough time to come back in for one more right at the death. But let's see. Right now, P10. 1.9 off. Pole position across the line. Do we jump up any? Ah, oh, we improved by only one tenth. Only one tenth. We're six tenths off Ocon. Ah, uh, not enough time to come in to go out again. Yeah, not enough time. That's it then. P10. Uh, it was a good try. It was a good try. To be honest, I'm still very, very happy with P10 with Lando. Really can't complain. And we got the sprint race. So we could improve our position because I believe the sprint in F1 Manager 23 is just like the sprint in the Cody's games where it's not the full sprint quality and sprint on Saturday. It's practice two and the sprint which sets the grid for Sunday. Right, so going to the sprint, the confidence is both on 66% which is not too bad after P2. I think I just sent them out on a long run plan to try and get track acclimatization, basically. And now we're into the sprint, which is going to... I definitely think this sets the grid then, because it's going to be basically like the old sprint format, so... Now's the time for the sprint here in Baku. And it slides out. And we are on the way for this sprint on board Piastri, Lando P10. How's it looking into turn one? Oh, big, big send. Big, big send. Let's just go max aggression, please. Max aggression. That's what we want in the sprint. It's three wide. Lando getting stuck in, trying to overtake. Oh, there's been a crash. Piastri. Piastri got caught. Oh, multiple cars have crashed. Was Piastri involved in that? I don't know. And is there a safety car? Yellow flags right now. Piastri not involved. Gasly, I think, has got some sort of damage. Let's look at the replay. What happened? Lap one. What happened here? What happened here? Did the two Alpines come together or no? No, the Alpine and the, and the Williams. Oh! Oh, the Williams is out. The Williams is out. Gasly's taking the Williams out. And there is yellow flags. Gasly's got a penalty and he's got damage as well. So hopefully Piastri can overtake. He's up into P12, which is very, very solid. This time deploying on the start of this sprint and that is working well for us gonna do battle assist also for these lot but we're deploying down this straight on the opening lap and then we'll uh harvest a bit okay. at the end let's overtake russell if we can with norris i'm hoping piastri or well, gas is gonna come in anyway i think Dude, as russell's perez is leading the way then can lando make a pass on the inside go on mate no not yet not yet that's fine harvest up get ready for another push here yes this is it this is it on the inside. Come on. No. Oh, bit of contact made. Bit of contact made. Lando getting the elbows out. Come on. Up into P8. This would be Piastri. Still not got past Gasly despite having a penalty and damage, I suspect. And Lando's not past Russell. Ocon is coming at Lando. They're side by side into the car. Oh, God. Keep your foot in, mate. Keep your foot in. Keep your foot in. Oh, they're side by side the castle section. Unbelievable stuff. On real stuff. Lando pushing hard to keep the P10 that he qualified in. It's tough though, and Russell's pulled away from us, so maybe the dream is a bit over there for us. Maybe we need to also protect the tyres a bit now, no, to be honest. To I think we've overdone it maybe. And Gasly now is having a go at Lando. He's got the penalty though, so he's going to fall behind, but. Ah, uh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Piastri's held in P13. Got overtaken by Sonoda. We're falling away a little bit after this good qualifying. Coming back, though, at Gasly. 
good. Nice. Okay, let's push on then. I'm going to start deploying at the end of the lap to push on. Yeah. Same for Piastri. Let's push on a bit. Lando versus Gasly again. DRS open. The fake to the right. Go to the left. And get the move on the inside done. But we're not getting close to Ocon. We're just battling Gasly here for P10. I mean, we're staying... Ocon's still in the picture there. So there might be a chance, I think. DRS for us again. Surely get the overtake done. Piastri is... Ooh, having to defend Magnussen whilst trying to close up to Sonoda. Damn it. Piastri's in range of Sonoda now. Lap 12. Quite a few laps later in this sprint. It's very a similar story. Oh, what a dive by Oscar. Oh, he nearly got it on the outside. Come on, to the inside. Come on, go on, son. Get it done. Get up to P12, mate. This is still a good recovery from his uh, qualifying position. Even P13 would be an improvement for a qualified, to be honest. But couldn't quite get him there. But our tyre wear is really good. I've actually managed it quite well, I think. You know, compared to Gasly, 67. 72, a little bit high. For Piastri's push his size a bit more, but that's because also we had to close that gap to Sonoda. And then with Lando, he's still in range of Gasly. Or oh, no, not anymore. He's actually out of range now of DRS. We maybe need to push him a bit harder just to catch up. Oh, VSC, 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 VSC. Save fuel, save fuel. Save that as well. Save temps. Interesting. Okay, that'll give us a bit of breathing room. Hulkamer crashed. Oh, okay, Hulkamer crashed. A little bit of respite then. He's behind Piastri into turn one. Is it just a lock-up then, I guess? Big, big lock-up. And oh! Sorry about that, guys. Straight into the wall. All oh, the two Alpines are side by side. And it's time for last lap, Lando. Let's just top up a little bit in the slipstream here. Meanwhile, Piastri, same thing. Let's harvest a bit here. Just play this clever. Neutral here. Same thing for Piastri. Neutral here, just to save, just to save battery, just enough at the end. Right, gaining, gaining, gaining. Could be three wide here. Come on, Lando. His DRS open, right? Yeah, cool. Ooh, here we go. Go for it, go for it. You got Gasly. It's on the fight, it's on the fight. Right, we've got to deploy. We've got a good amount of deploy for the end of the lap. Right, the tyres are overheating here, but it's the last lap. Come on, mate. Let's go for it. Come on, can you make that dive to the inside? No, not quite. Well, we're closing up. Oh, here we go. Dive to the inside here. Lovely. One overtake. We need the second one. Come on. Perez has won the sprint. Lando in the slipstream. He's not got much battery left, unfortunately. But he's got DRS, I think, or we should do, to try and close up on Gasly, who has a penalty anyway. So Lando will be elevated. I think, surely, as Piastri on the line just can't get Sonoda. Now, Alpha Tauri somehow stays ahead of us. Gasly also, he had a penalty, right? So we are going to jump him probably, but no points. Oscar P13, because Gasly's just down to P11 then. Okay, fair enough. Perez won the sprint from Max to Leclerc. Right, strategy for race day. Mediums to hards. Um, I think, yeah, let's go, let's go for that. Or maybe, you know, could a two-stop be worthwhile around Baku? You know, we're quick enough on the softs. I think with Lando, we'll go for the one-stop. I think with Oscar, does he have new sets of softs? He has one new set of softs, whereas I don't think Lando does. Yeah, all used. So let's go with a two-stop for Oscar. And we're going to extend the medium tire stint a bit. To 17 laps and we know the softs can probably do 17 as well because we did a sprint race just then 17 so 51 uh one uh, 50 uh, 40 40 37 so let's go 37 so really short short stints going on here but means we can maybe push flat out on all these stints why, why even use hards we've got two new mediums we could just do that we could just split the difference of like 16 like 17 laps each so yeah i think that'll be all right okay starting p9 in 13 for the sponsor target we need to at least have both these guys above p14 so we're already there we just need to go forwards rather than backwards in this race and we have been doing that every race so far with the azerbaijan grand prix
and it's lights out. And all We're on the way for the full GP. How are we looking, Lando? P13 for Oscar here. There's Lando up the road around the outside of the Alpine that we are fighting just in the sprint. Piastri stays P13. Lando can't quite get Ocon. Can Piastri have a go at any of these guys? We move about, but actually there's very little position change. A lot of people holding position in every regard up and down this grid. There's Lando. Oh my God, what a dive. What a dive. Go on, son. Oh my God, Ocon comes back at him. Oh my God, though. What a little move there. Let's go aggre aggressive, lads. Let's go aggressive. Yeah, We're in the swing of things. Let's go, boys. Yeah, it would be nice to get past Oscar. As Lando does get past Ocon. Good. That's what we like to see. Lovely. Let's just rewatch that. Because it's very rare we're actually making overtakes this season. So we need to bask in it. Oh, lovely stuff into the chicane on the outside. Get the better exit. And Bob's your uncle. Piastri stuck in P4. 14. He got overtaken by Magnussen. Okay, he needs to do better here. He needs to do better. We want to aggre aggression, ag aggressive on the tyre pushing, just to make sure we don't overdo it early on in this race, like we did last in the sprint, basically. What are the tyre? What tyre choices have we got? Ooh, a few people on softs. A lot of people on mediums. Okay, a lot of our rivals are on mediums. Probably Sonoda, Magnussen. Okay, it's fair enough. They overtook us. They're on softs. And Lando's probably going to get hounded by these Alpines down this straight, unfortunately. That's a, that's a bit annoying, but it is going to be what it is. As we are now on neutral. Let's go neutral, battle assist, battle assist. Just help me out a little bit. Right, from here, we're, we're trying to hold position, really, with Lando. Really, very much so. With Piastri, maybe looking to push it a bit more, maybe. So I'm going to actually micromanage him a bit more to try and get ahead because we're on a two-stop with him. And Ocon's already got us. Right, Ocon's already take, oh, already re-overtaken us. It's God damn it. I mean, we're not we're not as quick as Alpine yet. So, it's always going to be tough. Down to P10. Uh, they're going to annoy me. And Gasly's by. Gasly's by. Uh, tire temps are really hot as well. We've really cooked these tyres and they're really not getting down to a good temperature. Piastri's lost two positions. <laughs> He's on the two-stop. And he's lost two positions. How are you? How are you meant to? How are you meant to actually do anything when your car is just not allowing you to? Like they can't over, can't over push the tires because we get too hot. Can't push the fuel too much. You'll go low. What are you meant to do? Okay, Piastri got an overtake done on Bottas. That's at least a positive. We got Bottas back after overtaking us on the outside. Lando's being caught by Magnussen now on those softs. And he might even get overtaken by him on those softs. Ay, ay, ay. Those softs are very quick right now in this start of this race. Magnussen's going to get us. We're down to P B12. We're down to P12 because both Alpines have already got a... God damn it, man. This is... Oh, ha, ha. Oh, this is painful. This is painful. Oh, red flag. Oh, red flag. Red flag. Red flag. What for? Who's crashed? Who's crashed? Doesn't even know who's, who's out now. Red flag changes red everything flag, here in terms of our strategy, maybe. Um, right, we're taking the second what's corner. happened? With Alonso and Sainz. Oh, God. Quite clear. And, and both Spaniards are out. Yes, they've they've, <laughs> they've created an almighty pileup. 20 minutes until session starts. P12 and 15. Piastri can't go any lower now. He can't go any lower. Right. Um, I'm going to start Piastri on new softs. Let's go softs and then medium, maybe to the end. With Lando, just a new set of mediums, I think. I think new set of mediums. It's saying go on to hards, but I think new set of mediums. And we're rolling the dice with Piastri on the softs. Probably should have gone full out attack here, but it didn't let me. Right, deploy, push, attack. Okay, re-engage. Re go, go, go. Lando's still P10. Piastri's up to P13, which is a positive. What have they gone on? Okay, not as many people on softs now. We're actually the ones now... Uh, maybe on the quickest tyre compared to others around us. And Norris is up to P10. He's got Magnussen. Good. Let's calm things down a little bit, though, on, uh, on, the, on the pushing, just to make sure the tyres don't go astronomically out of our temperature window. Piastri's on a mad one, looking to make moves. Come on, P12 and Albon here. 
for the taking. Let's go to visor cam as we watch it. Right up the backside. A little bit of porpoising, it would seem, from the Williams. Pull out to the right outside. The Williams is on, on hard, so we need to overtake him. Absolutely need to get this done now. Now, Piastri. Oh, come on, why? Make that move, mate. Make that move. Come on, to the inside. Yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. Go, 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 go. Deploy. Yes, love that. Right, neutral. Right, Lando's going to get overtaken, re-overtaken by Magnussen, who's coming back at us. What tyre is he on? He's on mediums as well. He's just, he's just got DRS, unfortunately, on us. Maybe our tyre temps are a bit high. I mean, Piastri's going well. His temps are pretty, pretty high as well. Lando re-overtakes. Good. Piastri, we are closing on this pack. And Piastri is past Magnussen. Is he going to show me a replay of the overtake? Because that was pretty damn good. good there we go. Let's watch it. Let's, Let's watch it. Piastri on the softs, yeah, on the move. Good four. stuff. And now we're on Sonoda with Piastri. Oscar Piastri charging forwards yeah, on okay. the softs. Up into P10. I'm really hoping. I'm going to go neutral now. Yeah. Maybe even a top up by the end of this straight. As he gets Sonoda, hopefully he should get him on the outside with DRS. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Finish the move off, please, I beg. Sonoda comes back at him. We've both got DRS on Lando. And Oscar's going to make that move. Good. Neutral. Right, going to tell Lando not to fight him. Because um, he's not in his race. He's really not in his race. Let your teammate pass. Right, lap 23, Piastri. Didn't have much, really, on the softs, unfortunately. He's now really low on tyre wear. And I think Lando might pass him here with DRS. He's through. I might actually tell Piastri now, don't fight your teammate, because Lando's clearly the quicker driver now. Right, let's go for full out attack. Um, and probably deploy and then come in, I think. I think come in for the hards, maybe. Might be the shout. Or the mediums. I said mediums, to be fair, actually. I think they could get to the end. Let's see. Mediums, 58 laps apparently. Yeah, definitely mediums. Right, Piastri right gets past the freeze, which up. is good. Now there's the Some nice overtakes Piastri. happening on that medium. Piastri hopefully will get a good undercut, I hope, on it as well. And his confidence is definitely going up. Um, Norris, by the way, P8 now, because Gasly has pit, and we've jumped Gasly in the pit stops, I think, somehow. Maybe. I don't really know. But we're having to P8. And Lando's actually having a very solid stint here. Very, very solid. Oh, what? The... Oh, Gasly, you muppet. You muppet. What's happened here? What's happened here? I was fast forwarding at time 16 because I thought, okay, just chill out really until Lando's pit stop. Nothing's really happening. And now it's all happened. Everything's not fine, mate. Gasly just crashed us. What was the replay saying? What on earth is this? This guy done. What have you done, Gasly? Oh, come on. Well, we're not got the objective of both higher than P14 because Lando's out in P16. Absolutely wonderful. That payout's not happening. We've got a safety guard, though. So it's time for Piastri just to chill out now. And we'll try and do 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 goodbye him in P14. I haven't pit again. Do we have soft? No, no. Got no softs left. Got no softs left. New set of mediums. May as well, we're last. Right, here we go, green flags. Last 20 laps-ish of this GP, Piastri P14. There are a few people on softs ahead of us, which is going to make life hard. Annoyingly, we should have actually, if I knew the safety guard was coming, would have saved the softs of Piastri for this stint, but we're going to it is, we're gonna have to just make do with it, basically. We're on max aggression. Um, should I say rarely defend? Or no, we'll just go for neutral there. Um, take that off, and then, yeah. Just fight like mad. Oh, good move. Oh, good move there. Oh, what a move. P12 for Piastri through the castle section. You already got Hulkenberg and he ooh, nearly got Bottas. Nearly got Bottas there. Bottas actually got the classification of an overtake on Piastri, annoyingly. Uh, Fuel-wise, we're really good. We can just push right to the end, but uh, deploy down this straight if we can. Try and gain back on that alpha and not lose out to the Haas. No, please don't. Please don't. Don't come and overtake us. And all of a sudden now it's the last lap of the GP. Leclerc is leading the way in the Ferrari somehow. I think on the softs, just much better pace. The soft tire was so OP around here around Baku, it seems. So Leclerc leads from Verstappen, Perez, 
Hamilton Stroll just overtook Russell, or is trying to. Russell comes back at him. Albon, Ocon, so We're getting beat by the Williams. Both Williams are in the points, and we're not anywhere near it. We are 1.6 seconds back from Bottas. Oh, even Williams made the most of this race. Honestly, this, ga this year's game is so much harder to wrap my head around. This is the last it seems a lot harder to... Even, even micromanaging doesn't seem to be doing a lot. Unless this is just... Honestly, our car is just that bad and the Williams is actually okay. Obviously, we know in real life it's great in a straight line. So, obviously, it would do well at Baku, but... Just, yeah. I mean, we're pushing now, a little bit late. You know, I've been on push fuel the whole time. We've still got so much fuel there, so maybe that was a problem. I don't know. Could be on deploy now on the last lap, but race winner, Leclerc. Leclerc wins it. We are closing to Bottas. We're going to have very little ERS by the end, but we might just make the move for P12. Yeah, come on. Get the move done. And we've got no battery left. Great. Absolute corker. No battery. Bottas probably gets DRS back on us. Side by side through the final corner to try and get P12. At least it's higher than the P14 the sponsors wanted, but Norris being out means we're not going to get that sponsor target, are we? And we're not anywhere near point still. And Logan Sargent gets one. I can't believe we've been beaten by Logan Sargent. Embarrassing. Embarrassing stuff. And the Monogast driver certainly proved his worth with a terrific drive today. That's their second win of the season. A brilliant talent who looks so at home on the track. And with that, Leclerc gets up to P2 in the championship, you know. He's three points off for Stappen in the championship. It's game on here in 2023, it would seem like, actually. And Ferrari, not too bad off Ferrari. And uh, wow, Williams have seven points, Haas have 11. We, we are in the window liquor category. We really are. Bloody hell. Oh, this is difficult. This is difficult. Roll on the McLaren McPain train. If you guys have enjoyed it, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And please, if you have your top five tips for this game, give it to me. Because clearly, I have not retained any of my sense of skill from last year's game to this one. Anything I knew in last year's game literally doesn't matter on this year's game. So let me know how you guys are getting on. And I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.